and welcome to another exciting episode of Can It Take a K-26, the show where we take a variety of blasters and see if they can be upgraded using a K-26 spring. I am your host, Captain Xavier, and today we're going to be covering a number of five-shot revolvers that haven't been covered before. They have all been requested at one point or another, and I finally have them, so I'm going to cover them. Our first contestant is the Spectre Rev 5. So named, of course, because it is a revolver that holds five rounds. This is the Elite version of the N-Strike Spectre. This version was originally released in 2013 as part of the N-Strike Elite line. It came with the same style of stock and barrel attachment as the original Spectre, but this one is direct plunger, which means there is at least a chance that it can take a K-26. So let's find out if it can! It's got all the same basic internals as the original, except that the plunger tube has been replaced. Let's see if we can get it out of here without losing too many springs. So the problem is definitely not going to be the size of the plunger tube. If anything is a problem, it is going to be the size of the plunger rod. So I suspected the issue is going to be with the additional supports that they've put on the plunger rod, which I'm not a huge fan of dremeling off because it weakens it, but it's the only way it's gonna possibly fit. So, sacrifices must be made. Okay, well after dremeling the plunger rod down just a little bit, it looks like it actually does fit, so we're gonna squeak it back in here. All right, well, let's put it back together and see if it'll actually prime and catch. Well, it broke. So, with very little ceremony, the priming bar, so the catch bars, broke right off because they were just plastic. So it turns out, no, the Elite Spectre cannot take a K26, and it's for the age-old reason of compression. The spring will not compress enough to allow the gun to actually catch. Uh, it actually doesn't have a whole lot of wiggle room on that front. No for the K26, but we're going to go ahead and see what we can do about throwing another spring in here, or at least finding a heavier spring. This is not actually a very heavy spring. All right, well, that is a no for the Spectre. For K26, it was able to take a spring upgrade, but now it doesn't want to catch. I've already doubled the catch spring. I'll probably have to do a little bit more. But it's catching some of the time, not all of the time. But the good news is it took the FPS from 50 to 80, so that's a reasonable increase. On to the next contestant. Our next contestant is the Long Arm. The Long Arm was originally released in 2016, as part of the Impact Zone sub-series of the Doomlands series. And as such, it doesn't have a barrel attachment point or a stock mount point. That's, for some reason, the Doomlands series just, they decided to not make a modular at all. I couldn't tell you why. I'm sure there's a reason for that. But, uh, for all intents and purposes, it appears to be simply a reshelled Spectre. It is a five-round revolver. And for some reason, the cylinder is made out of an entirely different plastic than any other Nerf gun. Uh, no idea what the logic behind that was. But it's top prime. Like the Spectre, the cylinder rotates on prime rather than uh, on trigger pull or after like the hammer shots do. Uh, it's got a long barrel for no readily apparent reason. Uh, but I, I do kind of like the shape of it. I mean, it, it does meet, it, it fits its name nicely. It is very long. Uh, but what we want to know, of course, is can it take a K-26? Well, let's find out. All right, well, that, that's a Spectre. Yeah, it's just the internals of an Elite Spectre in a different shell. Uh, even the... Priming handle mechanism, yeah, the plunger rod is identical. Yeah, it's just Spectre's internal. So we already know that it's not going to be able to take a K26, that at the very least 
these little tabs are almost certainly going to snap right off. Though they do seem to be a little bit better reinforced on this version. But they do look almost exactly the same, just a slightly different handle. But uh, yeah, it's definitely not going to be able to take K26 because of compression. Uh, but obviously you could put any spring in it that would upgrade a Spectre just fine. So uh, I don't know if anybody out there actually sells or makes Spectre spring upgrades. But uh, they'll take pretty much any End Strike Elite spring upgrade. So Retaliator Springs or Strong Arm Springs are probably going to work in here just fine. So let's put it back together. <laughs> Definitely a functional blaster, definitely a nicely modifiable blaster, and a beautiful blaster. The whole Doom Lines line, as well as the Zombie Strike line, has definitely been a gold mine for cosmetic mods, for you know, for LARPs and cosplays and that sort of thing. So there you have it. Let's move on. All right, our final contestant for this episode is the Alpha Hawk. The Alpha Hawk was released in 2016 as part of the Accu Strike line. Came with the new, remarkably, actually more accurate darts. It is also a five-shot revolver. Opens up just like all the other ones. It usually has two priming handles. I don't have this one on because I knew I was going to be taking it apart. It primes, and like the uh, strong arm, it rotates after you let go of the trigger after firing. So if you pull it and hold the trigger, it doesn't... Then it rotates. Which is neat. That's what allows slam fire. But this does not have slam fire, so it's really kind of silly. But... Let's find out if this thing can take a K26. The fact that it doesn't have slam fire is actually in its favor. Yeah, you don't have to take apart a stock, and a lot of the shell comes apart into multiple pieces. Other than that, very similar to strong arm internals, obviously, but let's see what it takes to get to the spring. Remarkably beefy looking spring. For nerf, yeah. Luckily, very it's easy a to take arm. off. Yeah. It's got the same mechanism as a strong arm. Yep, just slightly beefier because it's not slam fire, which is good. Okay, so K26 fit. The question is whether or not it'll prime. No catch you? Not getting enough. Something broke. You tossed a screw. Yep. Something broke. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, you've finally seen something actually explode. I think the priming rod just snapped. Let's find out. It's not broken. This, the, the linkature between here and here that would normally be slam fire just popped loose. I'm going to go with no is the answer because the priming mechanism is not strong enough. For those of you keeping score at home or who just like to skip to the end to see the results, that was a no for the Elite Spectre, that was a no for the Long Arm, and that was a no to the Alpha Hawk. If you're wondering what this is about, read the description. So none of the five round revolvers uh, are able to take a K26, mostly because of compression issues. They can of course all take spring upgrades if you have the appropriate springs. So if you uh, just really like the designs of these, the Alpha Hawk is of course is a beautiful design. And I like both of these because they're very narrow, which makes them uh, easily to holster. Uh, obviously they don't have slam fire, which is a downside. Uh, so. You know, give or take, if you have them and you like them, you can definitely put a heavier spring in them. They may take uh, a little bit additional modifications, catch springs, and uh, various other upgrades. But if you have any uh, questions or suggestions or things you'd like to see for future episodes of Can I Take a K26, go ahead and put those in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.